The culinary scene here in Mexico offers a wide range of different tastes. From street tacos to fusion, all the way to fancy food, the key to good grub lies in the ingredients. Today we're working with Chef Diego Sobrino to learn how Washington products are taking Mexican fine dining to the next level. I'm here with Chef Diego and we're at the beautiful Sky Bar in Mexico City and this is uh, at the hotel that you have several different restaurants, right? Right, we're in the Mondrian Condesa, a okay. brand new hotel here in Mexico City. We're gonna make a thousand leaves of potatoes. Okay. Then a, thousand? a thousand? Is that gonna take a while? Yeah, a thousand. We're gonna a use, thousand. We have a hundred uh, <laughs> kilos in the back. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, so we're gonna build up like a little tower. We're gonna bake it in the oven, and in the top of it, we will put some uh, beef tartare. While I peel some Washington-grown russet potatoes, Chef Diego chops some rosemary. We add the rosemary to a bowl with some olive oil and Parmesan cheese, then we slice the potatoes super thin. Actually, here in Mexico, we use a lot of uh, American potato because we don't have beautiful potatoes here. They have a lot of uh, water into it. Oh yeah? So to fry it, to make a beautiful puree, it's quite difficult. Mm -hmm. We add the potatoes into the bowl, add some salt, and mix it up. Next, we stack the thin layers high, making sure to add cheese between each layer before finally putting it in the oven for 20 minutes. In the meantime, what we're gonna do, we're gonna build our beef tartare. And you're incorporating apple into this? Of course, we're gonna give the freshness of the I plates with apple uh -huh. and the acidity of the granny smith. It's gonna be a perfect uh, match yeah. together. Actually, in Mexico, I think all the green granny smiths that we get and the gala that we get came from Washington. Yeah. Since I'm a child, I remember that, yeah. Since you were a child, really? Yeah. I think that I, that's how I knew that it was a state in the States, yeah. in Washington, because Washington of the apples. Because of the apples. Yeah, I'm personally a fan from the Seahawks in Washington, so. <laughs> go Hawks. Yeah, go Hawks. <laughs> go Hawks. We finally chopped some Persian cucumber, red onion, Granny Smith apples, green olives and chives, and add them to the beef. Next, we add some egg yolks, cured in soy sauce, some Dijon mustard, and thinly sliced chili pepper. By that point, our potatoes have finished baking. Aha! Uh -huh. Wow! This is how it is. Look at this. Those It's crispy look and you so can feel it soft in the inside. If you have good ingredients, then the rest is easy yeah. to do. With that, there's nothing left to do but eat. And who better to eat with than the director of Washington Agriculture, Derek Sanderson. His efforts make sure fresh Washington food can be exported to Mexico. It's not going to be graceful, I can already tell. That was pretty incredible. It's salty and tangy and crispy. And then some heat at the end. And you feel the salano and the serrano, you feel oh, yeah. a little bit the hot of it, but then the apple and the sugary it helps to make it a smooth dance. Oh, that's so good. And the potatoes, that's easy that's to really do. Easy. You can really do it easy to anytime do. Anytime at home. Yeah. Everything's in the product, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, exactly, yeah. <laughs> and I think we should have a little toast. Thank you, Chef sure. Diego. Thank you, guys. Thank you. To Washington. To Washington. Washington. Coming up, I'm making Malaysian curry at Reunion Malaysian Cafe and Kitchen in Seattle. Ooh, there's a kick to it though. Yep, just a little bit. <laughs> you can handle it. I can handle it.